and hello YouTube, this is GS Man, I'm Smart, and I'm here today with another brand new video for Tutorials of GS. Today's tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at Adobe Premiere Pro, the video editing software from Adobe, and showing you how to speed up and slow down certain sections of your video clips to either have your viewers watch it through quickly with some music in the background, or to slow it down so you can give your viewers a chance to see it with better clarity. If you're like going through a highlight or something who knows what you're doing but anyway I have a clip here if you have not seen my beginners guide on how to use Adobe Premiere Pro I do suggest you watch that video it goes over a lot of the basic and essential things you need to know and um, it'll really help you out with like getting used to the tools and getting used to the interface because I will not be going over some of the basic things in these videos that I'm making for these tutorials because I assume you know how to use the program or you've watched my um, beginner's guide. But anyway, so what you're gonna need to do is drag your video file into the timeline here after you've created a new sequence. And what you wanna do is you wanna find the part of the video that you want to speed up or slow down. So for example, I want to start speeding up my video right around uh, this part right here. I'm going to use my razor tool here, which is on the left side here. You can also press C on your keyboard for the shortcut. And go ahead and click on this mark right here where you want to start speeding it up. The main goal here is to section off this track so it, it is its own track so that we can speed it up individually. Then after that, you wanna find the part where you wanna stop speeding it up. So I say I wanted to stop speeding it up right around, right around here. So I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna grab my razor tool again and click right here. And that will basically section off this track and have it as its own track, separate from the actual video file. And I'll basically have three pieces now, the beginning, the end, and the middle part here, which I'm gonna be speeding up. After that, you wanna go ahead and right click the, the part that you wanna speed up, and you wanna to go to speed duration. And here you either wanna type in a duration of how long you want it to last, or you wanna type in a percentage. Now, I usually do percentage, but if you want it to have a specific duration, for example, for, for the, the part of the video to last 30 seconds only, you could speed it up by duration. But I'm gonna do percentage. Say I wanted to speed it up by 300%. And what this will do, it'll just very easily shrink it down and it'll, the entire, this part of the video will go by a lot faster. So if we take a look at the original video, well, there's not much happening here, but let me go ahead and go over here. As you see, it is relatively faster. Now the problem is that the sound also goes really fast. So if you don't want to have the sound in there and you want to add your own music, what you have to do is hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and then also click the audio channel. Don't click the video channel, just click the audio channel. So hold down Alt, click the audio channel, and then you'll have the audio highlighted. Then you can go ahead and press backspace and it'll delete the audio only. You'll basically have no audio here. As you'll see, only the video, and it's going by very quickly. You can also increase the speed. If you want it to go by faster, you can go speed duration. So you want it to do 500%, and it'll speed it up by 500% instead of 300%. Notice that this is not a stack, which means if you put 200 and then 500, it won't go 700, it won't add up. It will just change the value. So if you wanted to add music now, we can grab our audio file here. And then we can drop it on the track here. We can zoom in a bit and then drag our audio track to the start of this. Grab our razor tool to the end of this. And then we can cut this out, drag this back to the end. And then if you wanted to, you could add a uh, you could fade the music in and fade the music out if you wanted to. But since this song already fades in, I'm just gonna add a fade out. I'm gonna grab the pen tool here. I'm gonna drop a dot right here, drop an end dot right here and drag this all the way down. If we zoom in a little more here, if 
for clarity so you can see what's going on. Basically, what this does, what I've done here, is I started a, a volume keyframe to stay at this level with the pen tool, and then I've created another dot, it's another volume keyframe at the very end, and I basically dragged it down. This dot right here, I can move up and down, so it basically decreases. Now, if we were, if we were to watch this, go ahead and see how this looks you'll have your regular audio regular speed So that's basically how it is. There you can create your like cool little sped up version with some cool music in the background. Now if I wanted to go ahead and slow this clip down instead of speeding it up, uh, make sure that you give yourself some room for it to slow down. So just go ahead and drag the end of the clip all the way to the right a little bit. And then right click your track here again and speed and duration. Now be aware, going above 100% will speed it up. Going below 100% will slow it down. So if you want to slow it down by half and double the time it takes for the video to go through that specific clip, you can type in 50%. And as you see, the duration of it doubles and it slows down by 50%. Then you can go ahead and drag this back. And to delete the audio again, hold down Alt, click, and press back. If you want to add some music, you can, the same way we did it before. And now if we take a look at this, you'll see that it does go substantially slower compared to the other version. So that's kind of how the uh, method works, speeding up and slowing down. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. We, we're gonna be making plenty of other uh, Premiere Pro videos. I have plenty of other tutorials though on Photoshop, Windows Movie Maker, Audacity, uh, several other softwares and computer related tech tutorials if you're interested in that type of stuff. You know, uh, definitely check the channel out and subscribe if you haven't. And if you have any questions, comments, any concerns, any problems you may run into, or any requests for other videos, uh, definitely leave in the comments section. I'll try to answer them as quickly as possible. But that'll be it for this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching, and I hope this video helped you out in any way. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It'll really help me out. If you didn't like it, you can leave a comment as well, giving some feedback. If you have any other comments or questions, please leave them in the comments as well, and I'll do my best to answer them. I usually respond to comments within 24 to 48 hours, depending on your question and depending on how busy I am. I have plenty of other content on my channel about different software tutorials and how-to videos, so if you're interested in that type of stuff, check it out. And if you like what you're seeing, you can subscribe too. Really appreciate it. You can also check out my other channels and social media as shown on the screen right now. And with that, thank you so much everyone. And this is GS Smart, and I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.